Hello there guys, I'm Resident Evil Knievel and welcome back to some more Let's Play Batman Begins. In the last episode we actually finished um, Falcone's Black Market and we had a discussion with um, Detective Flass who really deserved it because well he's being a flasshole basically so in this set we're going to go to Narrow's Deja Vu and that's basically the first area which we started the game at so let's load our file shall we. And this level's not as long as the last level. The last level took me like, I don't know, it took me over one hour to complete. I couldn't even finish it in one set. But this level should be able to be finished in one set, hopefully. And yeah, this level doesn't start with, um, you know, a cutscene, which is good. We can just get straight into action, shall we? And we begin in an abandoned museum. Now, I've tried to record this okay. level once before museum. there are reports of a helicopter on the roof of the archive warehouse directly behind the museum and for some reason um, <clears throat> it was making a strange noise I, like I got a bit into this level and I thought what is that strange noise it's actually recording it's quite irritable luckily I didn't record all of it I'll delete that part anyway so what you want to do here is actually wait for this green guard to come and um, look at his boyfriend which is the red guard and then we've got to once he's turned around we've got to take this fucker out the am i in the stance yes i am come on hello damn you got a punch in your face and all you have to do is just take out this fucker here every time i don't know why every time i actually try and go and fight a green guard i end up just jumping towards him and just keeps on punching me it's really strange oh don't scare around like a Look at him, he's showing his fucking ass to me. Damn pussy hole. Ugh. Access to archive warehouse. So gain access to the archive warehouse directly behind the museum. Yeah, there's a... The center of the focus of this level is actually to talk to a pilot who flies a helicopter, basically. Though that's not the way I'm meant to be explaining it. Oh, the camera angle is just pissed me off around here, honestly. So what you want to do here is actually um, break the chains for these helicopters so you can get your ass over here. And yeah, as I said, hopefully that sound won't come back. It came back after I blew up some um, barrels, basically. Hopefully it won't come back this time. It was like, I don't know, I thought it was, it was actually coming from the game. It was not coming from my capture card. I thought there was something on my capture card there and, you know... Oh, it's just irritable. Something just has to go wrong every time I try to record my Let's Plays. <clears throat> Hopefully this time it'll be alright. So let's have a look through the keyhole here. Or rather the optic cable. Everything's fine. Let's go through here. So... Ooh, there's someone here. So as you can see, there's a lovely T-Rex model there. Which is held by some support cables. And these guys are not here just to view the glory of the skeleton or the T-Rex. But let's show them, shall we? With some bones up their ass. Okay, you didn't expect that, did you? Is this like cut or what? It looks like it was a stab wound or something. Very nasty. You could tell he's had a good life. Oh, God. Okay, let's just blind these fuckers first. Make them vulnerable as hell. Okay. Damn you, Mushki. The, where the hell is that knife fuck looking at? <coughs> oh god, he fucking shanked me up there. You don't No, he's, he's about to launch me there as well again. I'm gonna punch the lights out of you. Is he no he's not um, armed anymore. Right next to his name you can see the fist, so that means he hasn't got a knife. Oh please this video, video. Hopefully it won't this time make that fucking strange noise. It was from the game itself, actually. Alright, okay. So, as you can see, there's another green guard down there, so... He actually doesn't seem like a part of the gang, you know, for some reason. He looks like a homeless bum, or rather a hobo. So, the Grinch takes out the hobo. Didn't know Grinches hated hobos. Anyway, the Grinch is a, you know, a vile character. 
There's um, explosive barrels in this game, kerosene barrels, which... Oh, it's around here. This is where I cocked up last time. So I've entered the ruin, um, ruined archive warehouse. And oopsie, there's so many twats. If we can do this correct... I remember actually pressing open and I'm like, oh my god, why did I do that? Why? And as soon as you enter this area, I bet everyone does this, to so just press the Basarang prompt here. No, you're not meant to be doing that. Get your ass up the grapple point. And before you actually blow up those kerosene ba um, barrels down there, drop down there, there's a medical kit there. Ooh, I thought I was going to drop through the, through the ground hole there. That's not what you want to do. So we're going to create area fill with these um, kerosene barrels. Let's do it now. The only one that didn't got taken out was the red one. And he's got a fucking headache now, so let's deal with him. Lucky that didn't kill him. Actually, did any That's of them get taken out because the three what? remaining are still We're remaining? Toyed with. Sure are. Uh, let's fuck you, you up. Oh, fuck. <coughs> let's just bust these guys up. Punch. Fuck you. Alright, okay, red twat, arsehole. Look at him, he's trying to get into the fucking lift. <laughs> Choking onto your onto my fucking smoke grenades. That's the magical effect they're meant to have, mate. And he's not dead yet. Let's just finish him. Alright, hey, hey there friends, come over here. Bam, took in the back of the head. Um, have I read the mission briefing yet? I think there's another one. Alright, access the roof. So, access the roof of the archive warehouse where a helicopter has been sighted. As I said before, the helicopter is the center of the attention in this level. And so, once we, um... I think this elevator malfunctions. Oh my god, it does. So, it stops. Press the button one more time. And it shall reveal the door. There is it. Go through here, and there's there's guards here. Oh, there is. He used to be all right. Yeah. Let's sneak right. or rather peek. Dumb as a post, but all right. What happened? You didn't hear. Tom. These two are green. With we don't need to worry about them. That's the thing. Nobody knows. With whatever. Oh, they're standing next to a lovely medical or rather a military crate. From some drug? Yeah. But he's been like that for a week now. Yeah. I don't think he's getting better. Okay, let's fuck these guys up. You really exist. Come on. Urgh, yeah. Take it there. In the groin. Or right in the face. Where are you? Oh, I didn't want to open up the military crate. I was trying to press R uh, L1. Oh, they always block. When I'm... Fuck you. Green coat wearing twat. Oh, why am I... Oh, no. This is terrible. I'm sucking at this combat today, honestly. Okay, those two, those two morons have done. People referring to them as twats. Better find some new cusses to come up with. So, this area, I think, right here, I think that strange buzzing noise was making from the game. But now it's not doing, luckily. Oh, thank God. Good thing. Because I'm not hearing anything out of the game. A ladder that goes up to nowhere? Can't be. But actually, you go through here again. There's another ladder here. You see? This level is very scenic for some reason. Not scenic, rather atmospheric. You just can you hear that uh, music? Oh no no! Oh my god! I almost went there. I always made that mistake. I got a there's a uh, red guard there. See, just wait for him to turn around. I've always run in front of his path. But even if you run in front of his path and he sees you, the others are not informed. So you better take out that guy as quickly as possible, basically. Okay, turn around. That's good. Alright, let's go and take that fucker out. Slowly. Slowly! That's it. Bam! Okay, so... I think this door... There's one there. We can see him from two windows, which are these windows. That window is knocked out there. I think that door's locked. I think this one's locked, actually. But even though, we don't want to go through there. So... I think one of those guys has got, got a key on them, so we've got to definitely knock them out to get the key. Alright. Stay crouched here, because they actually look out the windows. That's good, guy. Just have a good um, a good view of the window. 
What is he doing? Is he is he practicing his aiming? Bloody moron. <coughs> okay, he comes to his window now. He walks over here. Don't be alarmed. Just have a good stare. Now we're gonna get him. Now we're gonna get him. Oh, I press uh, punch there. Doesn't matter. Still done the job right. How you doing, say me? The bad man. Please don't eat my soul. The fuck? I'm not gonna eat your soul. I'm not. I'm not the. I don't know. A soul eater. That's a new one. Where's Doctor Crane? I, I don't know. <coughs> he's keeping everything under wraps. Whoever he's working for has got him spooked. And as you can tell from that Doctor Crane reference there. Um, Falcone's out of the picture now, so we, our main focus is getting to Dr. Crane now. Who does know where to find Crane? The pilot. There's an Arkham pilot on the roof. He's moving the toxin from Crane to us. He can lead you to him. Sure can. What's the toxin? What's Crane planning? I, I don't know. Some kind of poison. The guys who've been handling it have been seeing things. They don't sleep. They talk about demons and boogeymen. <clears throat> is that all they talk about? Oh yeah, you see um, Batman's Grinch form, they think it's a, a demon or a boogeyman or something. Who's Crane working for? I don't know. It's not Falcone. Are you sure? Who is Crane working for? Is he working for Joker or something? I don't know anything else. Do I believe you? No, I don't. Punch you in the willy again. What are you? I'm the Batman! 